Hello everyone, my name is Jeremy Fletcher. I am the Roadway Design Quality Assurance Administrator in the FDOT Office of Design. I'm here to present some updates to Chapter 122 of the FDOT Design Manual that will be reflected in 2020 FDM. Many of the edits that we made this year were, are reflective of just mainly cosmetic and clarification edits that were made to better enable designers to prepare solid justifiable design exception and design variation packages. Uh, one of the first sections that were updated was section 122.2. Before you'll remember, design exception variations were written in paragraph form. We chose to break that out into separate sections, describing a little more in detail what was expected for design exceptions and design variations. There were a few minor edits to this to reinforce the fact that Design elements could be both below or above department or ASTRA criteria. So this was a minor edit added to chapter 122.2.1. Section 122.2.2 was added with some clarifications on design variations. Ultimately, there's three types of design documentation when it comes to these types of submittals. You have design exceptions, then you have design variations, which are sorted into two separate categories, either a formal design variation or design variation memorandum. A formal design variation is required when, any, when used on any of the following design elements, either clear zone, site distance, Americans with Disabilities Act requirements, or design elements requiring signature by individual or office, noted in 122.7.4. I'll discuss the updates to that chapter later. A memo can be used for all design elements that are not included in the above list for formal design variations. Section 122.3, the language in this section was updated to clarify some of the justifications for approval. Some of the language in, in the previous year was not very clear in, in what kind of justifications need to be included to defend design decisions made by the department and the designer. Each one of these must be uniquely identified, located, and justified. Um, obviously, no blankets approvals are given as every site and every road are different in their conditions and traffic, et cetera. Some of the updates to 122.4 were some of the documentation updates. These were updated to um, reinforce some of the supporting documentation that's required for design exceptions, design variations. Uh, there was a sentence added to reinforce the fact that these documents should be commensurate with the complexity of the design element and the relevance of the information and engineering decisions complex, uh, sometimes safety, excessively safety related elements on interstates or freeways probably should have a little more documentation as, as the impacts to the traveling public are a little more severe. Minor updates to design standards that aren't as significant to safety, those can be reduced in documentation. A minor edit was added to 122.5.3. To be consistent with other sections of the FDM, this ASHTO table was updated to reflect the fact that it can be median or left. That is as updated in the table in 122.5.3. Section 122.5.10 of Chapter 122 was updated to reflect some changes in the 2011 ASHTO Green Book. Specifically in the freeways chapter, Table 8.1 was updated to reflect that grades 1% steeper than the value shown may be used in urban areas term extreme cases and where development precludes the use of flatter grades was somewhat subjective in nature. So we, these were removed from the current chapter of the FDM. These are the only changes made to this particular section of the FDM. Section 122.7.1 was ultimately some clarification to the submittal items for design approval package. In a sense, a submittal package for design exception or variation includes the same items. The level of documentation will, will vary depending upon the design element being evaluated and whether it's a design exception or variation. Typically, safety and crashes are always reviewed. There's always going to be a submittal letter attached to it, and many times the appendices attached to each report will be different depending upon what type of design item you're looking at. The design variation approval section was updated as well to clarify and be consistent with some of the references throughout the rest of the chapter. This was just some minor cosmetic grammar changes to this to this section to make sure that the rest of the chapter was consistent regarding the 
levels of approval and things like that. Obviously, design variations are typically approved at the district level, except for certain elements requiring central office approval. And certain variations coming to central office must follow the processes of 122.7.2. And as a reminder, design variations can be approved at the district level, either as a formal design variation or design variation memorandum. And last but not least, Table 122.7.1, the central office approvals table was updated. Design variations for fencing on a traffic railing between pedestrians and travel lanes on LA facilities go to the state structures design engineer. In addition, the state roadway design engineer was removed for approvals of roundabout designs and community aesthetic features. As you can see, the, the table was updated accordingly in section 122.7.1. This concludes my updates to Chapter 122 of the FDM for 2020. My name is Jeremy Fletcher again, and this is the Quality Assurance section. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. Thank you.